This month from Big Finish, kicking off on March the 5th, comes the Fourth Doctor Adventures Storm of the Sea Devils. The first um, box set in series 13, can you believe? Wow, we're 13 series of Tom Baker, and this series we've known about since, what, 2020, I want to say? Yeah, I want to say that. Just before they had their online um, Big Finish Day, they Mm. announced it because they had uh, both their new Harry Sullivan, Christopher Naylor, and uh, Naomi Cross herself, Eleanor Crooks. Uh, yeah, we're finally and... getting the jigsaw piece of that because we, we've had little hints with the Seventh Doctor and Unit Nemesis. We're finally getting to see the beginning of that. Yeah, yeah, it's all been sort of told to us out of order, but recorded by them in order. It's not quite mm. a River Song occasion. It's literally just a case of, you know, because of how the Fourth Doctor schedule works so far in advance, we're only getting them now. Yeah, which is wild, really. Um, we don't seem to know any other details for the Fourth Doctor in year in future years, I guess, because everything's sort of caught up with the relaunch now. Um, yeah. So we I don't mean, know that far in advance, like previous box, years. Yeah, these box sets have ended up cheaper than all the other relaunch box sets this year because they were announced and put up for pre-order so far in advance that mm-hmm. it was before... The price rise came along and big finish have rather nicely kept them at the same pre-order price that they've yeah. been at for the past two years so if you've not picked these up yet they are your cheapest box sets of the year to go for yeah uh, we, we can't like comment to... on the quality yet no not yet uh but i mean unfortunately sea devil stories that aren't the sea devils in yes. any medium don't have the best uh track records Will that finally change here with the four-part Storm of the Sea Devils? The one from the title. I think so. With David K. Barnes doing Mm -hmm. it, Dalek Occupation of Winter was such a a gem. If it's anything like that, I think this could be potentially one of the best stories of the year. Um, I hope so. I'll happily put my hat on that. I'm looking forward to it. You've got a trip to Calcutta... You got a new companion being introduced. You got the wonderful Harry coming back, and of course, you know, Fourth Doctor facing Sea Devils in a swamp setting, mm. which you know it feels like a different way to go about them. Sort of creature of the Black them. Lagoon, isn't it? I would say. Yeah, because you got like this um, hotel where the owner has a Sea Devil kept captive in his swimming pool. That's just a beautiful visual, mm. uh, and I think you know some feel- interesting. Uh, conversations can come up there. Mm. It, it feels like it's riffing off the Hinchcliffe stuff, which is always good. Mm. Um, you know, yeah, because this will be set in the Hinchcliffe era mm. between uh, Deadly Assassin and Face of Evil. One would assume because you know there's no K9 anywhere in these, so that feels like the only place it could fit chronologically. Yes, and going off the cover art yeah. with uh, we- Tom. Yeah, which would also mean wooden console room yeah that'd be interesting yeah which sort of feels almost wrong to have harry in yeah well harry never got a scene in the tardis console no that's true yeah Yeah, he's been in the tv movie one now though if you've listened to any of the seventh doctor adventures that is true that's true there you go i mean speaking of sort of eighth doctor related a cheeky sort of loose segue we have born to die with Charlie Pollard and the Sixth Doctor. Mm. The yeah. third instalment in the Sontaran versus Rutans. Yeah, it is. We're halfway through that now. Mm. And by the time this comes out, we'll be nearing the end of it. It's been quite an exciting run so far. And I'm looking forward to this, particularly because we have John Colshaw voicing one of the Sontarans in here. Mm, we've had cool. a glimpse of it in uh, Children of the Future. Mm. Uh, so yeah he's very kevin Lindsay. so it'd be interesting to see if we continue that yeah i wonder if we'll get him popping up anywhere else but you know it's not just him you've got a whole trio here with dan starkey of course and christopher ryan as well who mm. has popped up quite a few times obviously it was with colin on tv as well yes as lord kiv yeah so you know that's a nice little reunion there uh for the 40th uh, year of Colin 
But mm. I mean, March, March is, I mean. March yeah. is definitely Colin's month, which we'll talk about the other two uh, Colin releases in a minute. Mm. I mean, do you have anything more to say about Born to Die other than looking forward to it? I'm looking forward to it. Blue Colin is appreciated, and it's mm. it's going. I think this is one where we're going to start to get a few answers with obviously having uh, Charlie in it. I think that's very clever the way yeah, they really mixed good. up the order there. But then still kept it chronological from one character's perspective. Yes. Because she, of course, travels with the Sixth Doctor after having travelled with the Eighth Doctor. For those who don't know, there's a whole arc there from uh, 2008, I want to say. Mm -hmm. uh, or around, probably multiple years, really. But yeah. Uh, so I think that's a very clever way of working around that. And then it all comes to a head in the Time War with the Young War Doctor in April. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sometimes versus Routines has been strong so far. Check out our reviews of both Children of the Future and Battle of Giants Causeway if you want to know more about that. Broken Memories is another release coming out this month featuring the Sixth Doctor. This time facing the Clockwork Droids, while the Fourth Doctor is out facing Harmony Shoal. And the Eighth and Seventh Doctors are up against the Silence. This is a release that we've been waiting on quite some time yes about two two or three years again like storm of the sea levels not as long um we finally got the updated cover with the new logo yeah i mean we got the original cover back in july 2022 like just after the 29th of july three. i think yeah and then so this was originally scheduled to be out october last year 2023 and then got pushed back to March 2024, presumably because, you know, around the 60th anniversary, things were getting a bit packed schedule-wise. So they thought, you know, we'll push this back a bit to alleviate it. But it has, it feels like the wind has been taken out of this one's sails a little bit, just based yeah. on how long we've known about it. Well, I want to be excited for it. I want to get hyped for it. There's stuff to be excited free. about it. Yeah, for it. definitely. But it just feels almost like we've already had it yeah way because we've known for so long but yeah hopefully that's going to be one of those things that just melts away as soon as we start listening to this uh, yeah, especially I mean, fourth doctor and sarah having yeah. in an original story because we've only had those in the lost story so far mm. and that's with harry as well and harry's yes. amazing of course mm. christopher does a great job but there's something about the uh dynamic of just those two as a duo that I think, you know, is really iconic. It's a really big part of Doc 2 history. And yet it feels weird that it's hardly touched by Big Finish. Mm. I mean, hopefully now we can get it. Yeah, because we've had a lot of Sarah with the third Doctor recently, mm. and they're a great duo as well. But, you know, this is the one of the most iconic pairings in Doc 2 history. And so that's very much one of the headlining parts of this box, that I feel. Especially in a story that feels very Hingecliffe inspired, you know, Invasion of the Body Stealers. It's very much riffing off those old horror stories, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Body Snatchers. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think that's the one I'm most excited for of the four stories. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, it's definitely a exciting one there. Speaking of horror... We've got some weevils in the underground mm. or tube strike uh which is the first part of the yantology they're calling yes. it uh three stories written by gareth Lo david lloyd starring gareth david lloyd as yanto he's gonna sing the theme tune write the theme tune do it all yeah, uh, play every character yeah he's gonna be a weevil mm. um yeah this is sort of yanto's tortured one days isn't it i think yeah it is um it's it's nice to see the weevils get a bit more use because i think from the stuff i've experienced with the tortured stuff they've not really been used all that much i think only one what comes to memory is corpse day mm. which uh, is somewhat infamous for its use of them yeah in all, all the tortured right. ways it could do it um so it's nice to see the iconic i want to say tortured monster um they are really aren't they yeah get you used know. They're not used much in the series. They're like a recurring. They're always there, right? But they're, but they're you know an animal, really, aren't they? Yeah, 
Yeah. They're a force of nature rather than something that's actively out there with a plan. Uh, I mean, certainly, it's always weird seeing them pop up in uh, the Series 5 finale. Yes, in the uh, the Alliance, yeah. 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 But then, again, that's just more, right, how, how many costumes can we uh, yeah. dig out of the storage cupboard to put on to fill these ranks a bit? Uh, but, yeah, yeah, are you picking this one up? I am. Oh, I'm, good. I'm intrigued by it. You know, love a good bit of underground horror, of course. Mm. You web know, of fear web of fear i doubt it'll give those vibes exactly because it's torchwood yeah uh but i don't i mean the trailer i love the trailer creepy stuff and that but yeah um yeah i'm gonna go for this one i think a wonderful bit of cover art there from sean Longmore as well yeah always does amazing work yeah i mean we've also got some 12th doctor coming out this month the final jacob dudman uh, release, yeah, it is. Um, you only die twice. I mean, yes. maybe that's part of why they did this after um, the Eleventh Doctor Chronicles, actually, just for that title. You know, yes. we thought he was leaving. We thought his <laughs> take on the Doctor was dying in quotation marks. Yeah, but no, he's done it twice. He's left twice. Uh, yes, this is the second instalment uh, following Time Jacked. Um, mm. Where we see the twelfth Doctor being recruited for the Time Agency, which it's it's an interesting dynamic. Him and his uh, sort of new companion, as it were. It's set yeah. in Series Ten, which is always good because I, I love Series Ten. Um, yeah, you got the Sonic Shades there on the cover as well. Yeah, it, it's very, very much ripping this. off um, the era. So yeah, I, I'm excited for this one because um, I picked up the other the other two Chronicle Twelve Doctor Chronicles. Um, so yeah, it'd be, it'd be a nice one, I think. Uh, whether it'll be a fitting ending for Jacob Dudman, I think Victor of the Doctor is that pinnacle release. It's you can't get anything better than that. Paradigm Daleks. So yeah, unless it's Twelfth Doctor versus Paradigm Dalek secret uh, reveal, um, but I doubt it. Yeah, but so that is at least still, you know, the bow on his eleventh Doctor. Yes, that is true. Yeah. But a Doctor Who certainly isn't going anywhere anytime soon. We've already talked about him twice this month, but he's got a third release to celebrate 40 years of his time as a sixth Doctor. It is, of course, Colin Baker in The Quinn Dilemma. This time, a six-parter, or six one-parters that all yeah. connect. So it feels with... like a little anthology in a way, isn't it? Like a little mini-series. Mm. Yeah, but sort of feels more like you know end of the beginning style anthology slash uh you know sirens of time yeah so that's true but instead of it being multiple doctors early on and then them all coming together at the end it's just multiple sixth doctors and mm. them all coming together at the end uh you know with quite a few companions returning you know you've of course got perry you couldn't have 40 years of colin baker Without Perry, I don't think. It would be nice because we haven't had Perry for a fair bit since uh, December 2020. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she's sort of like, she is the most iconic Sixth Doctor companion, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. But it does feel like Big Finish go through periods of forgetting about her. Well, they forgot about the older Perry arc, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, that's... Feels um, like that's been dropped, but... I mean, speaking of things they, they forgot about, um, in terms of arcs, is the constant and flip they, uh, story arc, but we've got a constant flip back now. Lisa Greenwood's back as flip after um, battling long COVID, and yeah. I'm I mean, so I feel excited like... for that because yeah. I love Flip. Yeah, Flip's wonderful. So's Lisa. So's uh, Miranda Raisin as well as Constance. I think they make a great little trio with the Sixth Doctor. I mean, that's probably less something that was forgotten about and more just like they physically couldn't do mm. because of Lisa Greenwood. But now, very happy to hear that she is, you know, recovering and back, able to come back into studio again for this very special release. And of course, you got Bonnie here as well, who's been doing a lot of Big Finish recently, uh, but doing a lot, a lot on the TV yeah, recently as well. So, yeah, I mean, She's Mel's every... A Who Renaissance, really, isn't she? Mm. I don't... She has been for a good yeah, three years true, now, I yeah. want to say. I think ever since the season 24 Blu-ray trailer, probably. Mm, yeah. I mean, all power to her. Absolutely. Uh, 
We got some more Sontarans in this as well, but like yeah. two Doctors style Sontarans. That's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah. Uh, so you've got three different writers tackling this one. Jacqueline Rayner, Chris Chapman, who has some wonderful stuff with the Sixth Doctor, particularly Sixth Doctor and Perry, mm -hmm. uh, and Rob Valentine. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. I think particularly Escape from Holy Island, somewhere I visited. So it feels okay. quite nice having a Doctor Who story set there up at Linda's farm. Exciting. Uh, but yeah, and I mean, also, it's between that and the return of Constance and Flip. Mm. Yeah, both uh, those are particularly exciting. But Would yeah, you I... say that's your most anticipated release? You know what? I'm going to say Storm of the Sea Devils, actually. Oh, plot twist. Mm, how about you? I, I have to agree. I've, I've got to stay loyal to the Sea Devil course. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, I've got to stay stay loyal to that. Yeah, stay hopeful. Stay um, hopeful that this could be the one, guys. This could be the one. Hopefully the 70s Doctors is where the Sea Devils thrive. Mm, you'd, um, you'd hope so. I hope. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure we'll review all of these Doctor Who releases uh, in the coming weeks. Um, mm. So stay tuned for those. And of course, our monthly roundups of Big Finish releases. So if you want to help when these releases are coming out or for budgets, we've got you covered. Yeah. So we'll be back again in April for the roundup there. Mm. And of course, plenty more videos in the month to come. Hopefully a very big and exciting one as well. Yes, uh, yes. Or multiple, actually, we've got plans. Mm. We'll see if those plans come to fruition. We will. Fingers crossed. But, you know, until then, thank you all for watching. Take care, everyone. Like, subscribe. You know the drill. See you next time. Bye-bye.